I'm here at Stanford and I'm uh, at the People-Centered Internet Conference and I'm talking to Vince Cerf, one of the people responsible for this whole thing we call Internet. And everybody in the whole world is talking about the Internet of Things and you're talking about the People-Centered Internet. Vince, what is this conference all about? Well, first of all, I'm talking about the Internet of Things too, so I'm not the uh, only one. But what we're talking about here is specifically healthcare and paying attention to individuals and people sharing enough information that they can take advantage of what other people are experiencing. So if we have, for example, data uh, from people who have either illnesses or have health uh, capacities that are better than ours, mm -hmm. we learn from that. So this whole point about this is connecting people together and their state of health, gathering data to help make policy decisions. This is really all about people being healthy and learning to be healthy, and that's why this is called a people-centered Internet conference. Yeah. I just came back from Estonia. There they said, hey, we didn't have any money to build our own network. We had to accept the Internet in, 2000, uh, in, 99, in 1999, and we decided not to make a safe Internet, but to make safe uh, transitions and safe uh, transactions. And they built a beautiful system on top of the Internet. Are they an example and are they something we can learn from? Absolutely, for several reasons. First of all, it's a small enough country. There are a million and a half people there. Yeah, little city. Well, what, what this means is that they can cover 100% of the population with their strong authentication mechanisms. They use those mechanisms to secure the data that's being uh, transferred and the transactions that are being executed. They have strong an, uh, identification of the parties in the transactions. It's a spectacular model. Mm -hmm. And they're even trying to help facilitate other people taking advantage of it by issuing uh, identity cards to people who aren't necessarily Estonian citizens. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, again, the success in Estonia is partly the result of their ability to cover the entire population 100%. It's a terrific example for us to look at to know what's possible if you can cover 100% of the mm -hmm. population. Yeah. That makes an aspiration for those of us with 300 and some odd million people uh, something to... And 7 billion people, uh, because, I mean, you just talked about the whole world and how we can get together. How? Uh, okay, so we have little incidental things like Estonia, but on the other hand, we have a huge mess of all kinds of systems everywhere. People don't want to work together, no trust. Uh, people are frustrating it, uh, commercial problems. How do we get together to a more people-centered internet? So we need small examples where in addition to Estonia, for example, we just heard about the San Diego health system that's been put together by UC San Diego, cooperating with a lot of different agencies locally uh, in that region. Yeah. And they've been apparently extremely successful with a very federated system. The more examples we have of these relatively modest scale things, and the more we learn about why they were successful, the more chance we may have of working from the bottom up rather than the top down to make this kind of a system work on a global scale. Okay, start small, go global. Hey, we're now here at Stanford, and they have a huge amount of people coming here for the university or something like that. How, how long ago have you been here in this area designing this whole TCIP thing, which got out of hand a little bit? Well, I was an undergraduate here, and I graduated in 1965. This is my 50th anniversary of you know, leaving Stanford. I returned, though, in 1972, and that's when Bob Kahn and I did the Internet design. 73, 74, 75, before I had to go to Washington to run the program for the Defense Department. Uh -huh. So it's been 40 years since... 40 years. And, how, and the, the, the essentials of TCIP, how long... I mean, you worked here for three years, but the essentials, how long did it take you to put them on paper and to think about it? Nine months. Bob and I worked actually maybe less than that. We started in March. We wrote the first paper in September, <laughs> and then we had to go uh, publish it. Okay, and we need to go. Thank you very much. Thank Thank you. I appreciate it.